We are now going to look at the basic role of software in computing. Um, there are two types of categories of software. The one is called system software and the one is called application software. System software is software that is used to manage your computer system. It controls the operation of the computer. You cannot use any computer without some form of system software. However, it is software that you don't personally use, you don't run it or manage it, because it is used to make sure that the computer can work. Examples of system software would be Windows operating system that is on your computer, it's Windows 7, Windows 8, or Windows 10, or it could be open source software like Linux or Ubuntu, which is also used to run a computer. Your second source of computers is system application software is programs like Microsoft Office 2010 word processing spreadsheets etc and they are programs that you use you use them on the computer so for example we would have graphic and design software which would include programs like Photoshop Coral Draw AutoCAD we can have word processor programs which would be things like Microsoft Word spreadsheet software like Microsoft Excel, database software like Microsoft Access and these you'd use and make use of to actually run specific programs. We also have things like communication software that will be your programs like Gmail or Outlook if you use it for sending emails. Um, it will also be things like Skype or Google Chat. We have got Office Suites which would be the whole Microsoft Office package, which includes programs like Word, Excel, Access, and PowerPoint. There's desktop publishing, which would be programs that are used to create books. Then the games programs, which I'm sure you all know what those are. And then there's web authoring software, which is used to create web pages. Finally, we will have web browsers, that will be things like Internet Explorer, Google Chrome, and Firefox. Your plugins would be the things that make programs work on, for example, your web browser, and that will be things like Flash, QuickTime, which runs videos on your browser. And then finally, we have financial application. Those are the programs that are used in businesses to do finances, to manage accounts, to send out invoices and similar things. Right. Software is, as we said, is broken up into two types of software. You have what we call the open source software and you have proprietary software. Open source software is software that you don't actually have to pay for. It's available directly. You download it and you can use it as much as you like. You can copy it. You can give copies to friends and it is a way to get access to a lot of software without actually having to pay large amounts of money. The proprietary software is the software that you buy from a company or you get as shareware or freeware. Proprietary software is owned by a company. You don't own the source code, you only get a license to use it. Whereas with open source software, you can even contribute to the source code, you can contribute to the programming. And there are certain advantages and disadvantages of both, and you can read about those in your textbook on page 110. Okay, I think we can have a look at activity 2 now. If you'll complete that before you go on to the next video, and do the quiz at the end. Thanks very much. Goodbye.